In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you all the different layouts there are in motorhomes. I'm here at Oak Tree to have a little look around and show you different style lounges, different style bathrooms and showers, and different style kitchens. So here's an, uh, a good example of a front lounge. You've got your two captain chairs that spin round, and then you've got uh, two, two nice little sofas either side of the motorhome, which is quite a nice little compact area. It's great with the captain chairs because it makes it all a nice little area to be socializing, and it does divide the motorhome into nice sections that way. This is a nice example of a twin lounge motorhome. So th this current model has an overcab bed, so it has the room to have two lounges. This one here will make up into a bed, um, probably a double, uh, but then at the back behind me, you've got a beautiful full C-shaped lounge, which will fit a lot of people back there. It is a really nice way to have a lot of living area because some of our homes do come with very little lounging space. So if you are the type that wants to kick back, relax on the sofa with a good book or, or a Netflix series, then twin lounges might be something that you look for. I think you'd agree, a very comfortable lounge beautiful lounge at the rear of the motorhome. These offer some of the biggest lounges you will get in motorhomes um, because the, the whole back end is dedicated to the lounge, which do give you lots of uh, cupboard space around because there's not much more they can put above that. Um, but yeah, if you are looking to have a lot of people, maybe you're a big family and you want somewhere to all sit and then maybe watch a movie at night, uh, a rear lounge is definitely a good option to have. I really quite like this example of uh, a layout. It's beautiful, large sofas. Now these will pull out and they'll make a very nice sized double. It could get a bit tiresome uh, making up the bed every night, but you have got a beautiful amount of living space during the day to chill out and relax. Now this is a classic style of an end washroom. They're hit and miss. A lot of people love them and a lot of people hate them. Obviously, you've got your bed there and it's very close to the toilet, which is great. But you've got easy access and it keeps it away from the, you know, it keeps the, the smelly end, if you want to want to call it that, away from the rest of the motorhome. It is as far back as possible. Now, to the left of me here is a really large shower. It is a pretty good setup, to be fair. But then that does take away things like a garage because that's there. This would be where the garage would be if you wanted extra external space. So it's, you know, rough with the smooth. It depends on what you want. This is an example of a side toilet and shower. Again, this is something I'm very familiar with. My motorhome, my previous motorhome and my current motorhome have got a side toilet and shower. They tend to be a bit more compact, but they're very functional. It's a good amenity to have within the motorhomes, um, but they're not going to be as big and as luxurious as they could be if they were put somewhere else. So this is a clear example of a side kitchen. Um, obviously, by that I mean it is against one side of the vehicle. You've got a nice full-size oven grill and hob. You've got a nice little workspace here. It isn't an amazing amount of workspace, but they have put this to cover your sink so you can still you know, prepare a salad, put a few bits of bobs down, do your uh, chopping and things here. And then right behind me is the fridge. But that is the basic style of a side kitchen. You will have cupboards above you. This one's got a microwave. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty compact kitchen, but fully functional quite hard to find uh, to be fair um, a rear kitchen they're not as popular i don't know why really but i don't see them as often at the shows or on the forecourts but they are a nice little example the door the hab door is right behind me so you're coming straight into the kitchen area full-size hob which is i, I love a full-size hob in the kitchen you've got um your, your hood the extraction fan and you've got nice cupboards and your sink at the side you will have a fridge which will be a smaller fridge is here. Um, and again, the one downside to these is the workspace. Now, you've got a tiny bit of workspace there where you could store some stuff, but you've got this space. This isn't the smallest, but it's not the biggest of spaces. You've got a microwave and you've got loads of little cupboards down here. Um, it's a great little kitchen. It, it is functional, a little bit small. So if cooking's not your thing and you're just, you know, making sandwiches and the odd odd little meal here and there, a rear kitchen might be for you. Cool. That was a bit of a look around, wasn't it? I mean, there's some serious difference in styles on these motorhomes. When, when it comes to just kitchen layouts, lounge layouts and bed layouts, there are 
so many on the market right now. If you are looking for a second-hand motorhome, but you don't know where to start, I definitely recommend coming down to somewhere like Oak Tree. Uh, have a look around, get in some motorhomes yourself, see what works for you, what's not gonna work for you, ask any questions you may have. They're here to help with anything you need. I can't recommend them enough. And if anything in this video is taking your fancy, come on down, have a look. <laughs>